petroleum subsidy, subsidy on petroleum has been a big issue in this country for over 20 years. And not only that, every corruption that you are aware of in the downstream sector of this uh, industry is one way or the other connected to, uh, to fuel subsidy. I can give you an example. Several licenses were issued for people to bring up refineries uh, across the country, and none could deliver, probably very, very few exceptions could, could deliver. The reason is very simple, because people are not sure that when you produce pro a petroleum product, at what price are you going to sell at the get of your refinery? And because they are, they are, we know that those prices are not market determined, and that we know that there will be a subsidy element in it, everybody you know, staggers to deliver on this. And the end result is that this burden is left to, to the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and, and, the, and the government as a, as a whole. What that means is uh, government has to provide that gap that exists. And of course, uh, uh, it's very understandable for people to, to get angry that uh, prices have, have gone up. Just like the price of every, every commodity, when it goes up, you know, there can't be uh, difficulties. Uh, there can be challenges that people will naturally, naturally face. But what, when prices go up, the other natural thing that must happen is that your income needs to increase so that you are able to, uh, to procure the things that are now in, at, uh, delivered at higher prices. You can't do this in anywhere in the world if there is no productivity. And there will be no productivity except there is growth in infrastructural development, industries are able to work, and therefore there's a connection between production and consumption. What subsidy does is to remove that connection and people like literally saying smoking cigarette and expecting results. And it requires courage uh, uh, to make this decision. I can, I can share this with you. Only a Buhari regime can, can make this decision. The reason is very, very simple. Uh, people will not appreciate the fact that the, the lost opportunity is, uh, is a situation where you have spending enormous amounts of resources, over 10 trillion in the last uh, eight to nine years, all trying to service that. Uh, that also in, doesn't include the element of uh, uh, FX uh, uh, resources that are lost to this. So when you put all this together with all the resources and with all the distortions that it creates, you know, the natural reaction is that, look, I don't want to lose this. I'm getting it cheap. And therefore, with this distortion that I'm going to stop up. It's not true. Uh, subsidy in itself, by, by every minute, is an elitist thing. And I can share this with you. It's only the elites who will have three, four, five cars in their house, fill their tanks, and also feel comfortable doing this. The ordinary man is the, not the beneficiary. First, he loses in infrastructure. Hospitals are not built. Schools are not built. And, and ultimately, uh, the brunt of even corruption in the downstream sector is transferred to the ordinary man. Overall, you lose everything and you get nothing. So when people get angry, and I can come back to what you're saying, when people get angry, there's outbursts of anger around this. And this will come in, coming from people who practically are not aware of this situation. They are not aware of the loss that they have. And, and most importantly, they are being engineered and delivered into making those statements. And we understand this very perfectly. Uh, we are the national oil company. It's our role to ensure energy security. But you can't do this until you are able to deliver cost. And that cost is lost daily. As prices of petroleum goes, uh, crude oil goes up, you lose those value and you are unable to do many things. So the outburst is uh, very un understandable. But I can also uh, I believe very strongly also that it's misplaced because the Nigerians are not aware of the opportunities lost. Thank you very much.